All right, everyone, I'm going to go get started. Uh, thanks for joining Power Hour today. So I am going to be rocking with, per usual, no music. So feel free to play your own jams. <clears throat> I am going to do the exercise demonstrations first. And then we're gonna warm up and then we're gonna get into it. So we don't wanna warm up and then just sit around and cool down again before we get started. So I'm gonna go through six exercises, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. You know, the jam we're gonna go through three times. So first one we have is a, let me know if y'all can see me. The first one that we have is a squat to rotational press. So hands down, we squat, press up. So I'm twisting up my tummy, pressing up. So this should feel like cardio. So we're moving pretty quickly, doing a nice little pivot on my toe. Of course, you can always slow it down to modify. Next one we have is an overhead reverse lunge to a lat pull down. So hands overhead. Step it back, reverse lunge. Step it in, lap pull down, back up. So I'll show you from this way too. Down, pull down, reverse. So alternating sides each time. Really gonna feel it in our back and in our shoulders. On the ground, we this is another fun one. We have a V sit arm circle. We're gonna go 20 seconds forward, 20 seconds back. V sit, legs can be up, one foot can be down, both feet can be down. Just make sure that our chest is nice and high. We're pulling our belly button in, engaging our core. So we're down here, little tiny arm circles going forward. And then we're gonna switch when I tell you going backwards and really using our arms, using our core. For all cardio, we're gonna be doing some mountain climbers. Always a fun one. Tried and true, just climbing it out. Try and bring your foot up. You can always tap and come back to modify for low impact. After that, the rest of us, <laughs> the rest of the exercise is gonna be on the ground. We have a bear donkey kick to fire hydrant and we're gonna switch each time. So bear position, kind of like I'm in a hovering plank. My back is flat, my wrists under my shoulders, pressing through my palms, my tummy is lifted. From here, I'm gonna press up, bring it back down, out to the side, switch sides. So this is a little bit more advanced. If you wanna make it low impact, just hang out here in a tabletop position, press back, press out, and then switch sides. Last exercise we have is a side plank row to press. So we're gonna go 20 seconds, 20 seconds for this one. So side plank, row, press up and down. So I'm doing a little twist here to tap my hand to the ground, then I pull it up again and here. Modifications, one knee down. Another modification, both knees down. And we'll switch it up halfway. Those are six exercises, really focus a lot on strength today, more so than cardio or core, but it's gonna be a lot of fun. And let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. So over here, we're just going to start with some high knee pulls. Just bring the legs up, doing some high knees. You can also jog with it if you want. Keep going. Some high knees. I know that 
let's do some knee grabs. So grab your knee, pull up. Grab your knee, pull up. One more on each side. And from your butt kicks, so just kick it back. Again, if you want to jog with it, feel free to do a nice little jog with it. Otherwise, just kick it back. Trying to bring your heel all the way to your butt. Couple more seconds of these. Two. One quad pull back, grab your hand, reach up and switch. Reach up and switch. Couple more on each side. One more on each side. And down, shake it out. Legs nice and wide, windmill, hands out. We reach down, hinge at the waist, reach for your opposite side foot and back up. One more on each side. And done. Back into center, keep your feet nice and wide. Side to side lunges. Big stretches here. Opening up the hip joint, stretching the inner thighs, held the legs that were about to work. Three, two, one, stand it in nice and tall. Show me the money just to open up our chest, our shoulders, off to the side and in and all together. Really pull apart, feel a stretch opening throughout your collarbones. Three, Two, one. Now let's end our warm up with a couple of jumping jacks. So, jumping jacks. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it all out. We're going to go ahead and get started. First one is the squats rotational press. Remember y'all, we're going 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We have six exercises. We start in 10 seconds. And let's begin squat down, twist, rotate up, just like you're throwing something Press it out. If you have small hand weights, this would definitely be a good class to use them. You can also use some water bottles. And remember, make it cardio. You're going a little quicker. Still pin it on your back foot though. And done, shake it out, great job. Next one, we have those overhead reverse lunge to lat pull down, we're alternating each time. All right, hands up, set the back leg back, stand it up nice and tall, press your shoulders down, elbows back together, arms back up, reverse lunge. 
Again, if you have small hand weights, you can definitely add that here. Really feeling a lot of work through the shoulders. Squeeze your shoulder blades back together. Squeeze the back. Drop the knee down nice and low. Use your backside to press up. And done, shake it out. All right, we're on the ground for the rest of our exercises. V sit with some arm circles. I'll tell you when to switch directions. Let's start in three. Let's begin. Remember legs both up, both feet down or one foot down. Arm circles going forward. Chest up nice and high. You can always just hold your hands out to the side if you need to. That's completely okay as well. Reverse directions. Chest is high, belly button squeezed in nice and tight. 15 seconds left to go. Final 10, little tiny circles going back. Chest is still high, give me five seconds. And done, good job. All right, flip it over. Nothing fancy here. We just have some mountain climbers. Three, two, one, begin. Again, you can jog it out really fast or you can step it back, bring it in. Step it back, bring it in. Using our core to getting our heart rates up. We're doing cardio. Try not to keep your butt in the air while you're doing this. You wanna be in a plank position, keeping your, your butt down. We're halfway through. I know this is tough for 45 seconds. Everyone sleeps on the mountain climber. Such a good one. Think about bringing both knees into center. Less than 10, five, And done, woo! Shake out the arms, big chest stretch. We have our bear position. Uh, fire hydrant to kick back in three seconds. Bear position, remember knees hover, using our core, press back, and then out to the side, then switch directions, down and out. Remember, we don't want our butts nice and high in the air. We want them level. Try to move just a little bit forward so that your shoulders are over your wrist. Reminder, you can always be down on your knees in a tabletop position. Bear is just gonna make it a little bit more spicy. You can also do a mix of both. And done. Great job, everyone. <clears throat> Side plank. Row the press is next. We're going half and half. I'll tell you when to switch. Extend up. Remember, we tap the ground, little tiny twist. Open the chest for row. Reach our arm up for press. In and down. Tiny twist. Make sure you do that tiny twist, that's huge. Adds so much to this movement. Let's switch it up. Switch sides. Remember, twist down. Follow your gaze, look up at your hand. Look down as you tap the ground. Tiny twist as we tap down. Three seconds. And done. Great job, everyone. That was round one. It's already over. Stretch it out. Grab a drink if you need to. We have two more rounds to go. About a minute off here.
you're ready, shake it out. Ready to go. Check your playlist. Make sure you got a good couple songs coming up. All right, we're ready to get back down to business. Starting in 10 seconds, squat to rotational press. Three, two, one, begin. Squat down, lift and rotate. So similar to what we just did in that side plank position, right? Just a little tiny twist of our torso, using our arms to press up. Feet stay down and then as you lift up, that's when you press, explode in the opposite direction. Whew. Getting the heart rate up, using the legs, using the arms, using the core, full body move here, less than 10. And done, woo! Shake it out, y'all, shake it out. Overhead reverse bunch of that pull down is our next move. Five seconds. And begin arms up, step it back, bring it up, pull it down. Be intentional here as you step it up and let pull them squeeze, just like you want your elbows to touch back behind you. Make the tension happen, even though we're body weight. Fifteen seconds left. Final five. And done. Great job. Hit the mat. We're on the mat for the rest of the time. Be sit arm circles. Reminder, I'll tell you when to change. We have five seconds. Let's begin, chest up nice and high. Lean back just slightly. Whew, good job, little tiny circles. Palms are facing up. Remember, this is completely optional. You can also just hold it and be sit. This makes it a little bit more fun though. Switch directions. Reminder that if you can't keep your legs up without being hunched over, keep one foot down. Like keep our chest nice and high. Three seconds. And done. Great job, flip it over, man. I think this is our top squat and just some simple mountain climbers. And we start in five seconds. Let's begin. Climb it up. Reminder, just step it in if you need to. You can always just step. Knees are coming into center. Halfway. Final 15. 10, and dive, Whew. do a couple big arm circles, open the chest, fair position, kick back to fire hydrants next. Reminder, you can always go in a tabletop position. Donkey kick, make sure your foot is flexed. We're alternating legs each time.
Five seconds. And done. Great job, everyone. Whew, one more to go. The V or the side plank. I'll tell you when to switch. Mind your one leg down or both feet stacked or both feet down. Tiny twist as you tap the ground. Follow your eyes to your hand and that's gonna help you with the movement. Tiny twist, row up, reach high. And switch sides. When you put that row down, think about reaching it back closer to your elbow. That will help you get a little bit more of that tiny twist in your torso. And done. Woo, good job, everyone. Great job. We have a minute of rest. Grab some water, shake it out. We have one more round after this. We'll do a little cool down stretch, make sure we hit a lot of shoulders. Then y'all are good to go for your Wednesday afternoon. All right, we're getting started with our last round in 20 seconds. Final round right here. We might go a little bit over. I hope that's okay with y'all. Otherwise, we're getting started in 10. Five, squat to rotational press is our first one. Let's begin. Squat, rotational press, pivot on the back foot as you throw this imaginary tennis ball, wiffle ball, whatever it is, opposite direction. You have hop small hand weights or water bottles that you're using as hand weights. That would be perfect for this. You know, we slow it down by squatting standing and then pivoting. Five seconds. And done. Great job. Overhead reverse lunge, lap pull downs, our next move. We alternate legs each time. Starting in three, two, one. Arms up, drop it back, press up. Flat pull down. When you step it back in that reverse lunge, think about really activating your glute on the side that's staying nice and stable. You're leaning your weight down, pressing through your heel back up. Final rep right here. And done. All right, everyone hit the mat. V-sit arm circles. Five seconds, we start. Let's begin. Remember, chest is nice and high. If it helps, instead of looking down at your belly button, try looking up towards the ceiling. That's going to help naturally open up that chest. Pull your shoulder blades together. Reverse directions, backwards. Woo! Really feel this core stabilizing, just moving our hands. 
Maria, you can always just hold it if you need to. 10 seconds. Ooh, feel that shake. Final three, two, one, done. Great job. Flip it over. Mountain climbers, we're halfway through our final round. Five seconds. Three, two, one, let's begin. Again, reminder to try and stack your shoulders over your wrist. I know it's hard to backtrack like this, but try and press forward. You're gonna use your core a little bit more this way if you press forward. So again, instead of coming back here, we're leaning into it. Keep jogging those knees out. We have 10 seconds. Final five. And done. Great job, everyone. Woo. Chest opener, bear position or tabletop, donkey kickback to a fire hydrant. It's our next move. We alternate sides, lift up, out to the side, nice and high. If you're in between these level one, level two, you can always go half and half. Come up into bear. Do your reps on each side. And then come down to tabletop position. Eventually you'll be able to do more and more reps in bear position as you build strength. Final five. Finish up so you're even on both sides. And down. Final exercise, side plank. Doing our row to press. We start in three, two, one. Lift up high. Remember, rotate back, think about bringing your wrist down closer back towards your elbow. So you're really engaging that twist. Your eyes are gonna follow your hand as you move. Great job, everyone. Keep your hips lifted. Switch sides. And dive. Great job. Stay on the ground, everyone. We're gonna stretch it out right here. Roll your shoulders back and then come down onto your elbows. Lift your chest nice and high. Big stretch with the shoulders for the chest. And relax, inch it up. Straddle stretch, be wider than mat width apart. Reach opposite hand towards opposite foot. Switch sides. Great. Bring both feet back. One foot forward, cross, right leg over left foot, and twist back. My arm is straight here, I'm actively pressing my forearm into my knee. So not only am I getting a greater stretch here, but I'm also really stretching my back shoulder. And down, switch sides, right leg is long. Left crosses over right, twist to the left, forearm, pressing into your leg. 
We're deepening our stretch. We're also opening up our shoulders. And relax. One final stretch. Arms cross over. Pat yourself on the back. You all did a great job today. Thank you for joining me. It's not always easy in the middle of your day to just stop what you're doing and to work out, but I appreciate you coming, making time for yourself throughout the day. Switching sides. All right, stretch it out. And that is all I have for y'all today. Make sure you drink lots of water. Thanks, Jessica. Thanks for joining. Thanks, Jess. See you next time. Thanks, See Jessica. See you next time. Thanks, Jessica. Thanks.